the army families, around 18 in number, living on this former airbase in Essex, thought they would have until the end of the summer before having to leave. The site is being repurposed to house asylum seekers. It's rare for military families to speak out, but such is the level of frustration felt within the community. A member of one of the families living on the base has agreed to speak to Sky News anonymously. We've revoiced their words. Originally, we were given a good time period. It was a good couple of months period, but over the last few weeks, that's all shuffled and we've almost been moved off the base now before the asylum seekers move on. For some families, it's a week's notice. It's obviously quite hard for them. They're having to pack their whole lives up in a week. And how do people feel about that? Stressed. Stress sums it up perfectly. The phrase I'd like to use probably contains a swear word. I think appalled. Appalled is probably the nicer way to say it, let down. They've railroaded everyone with this. They haven't listened to us. They don't want to listen. Sky News understands the Home Office plans to move the first asylum seekers to the site this summer. Nothing's happened on this base for probably 10 years. And now, all of a sudden, it's just constant work and they're rushing now. From the front gate at the base, you can see the contractors busily coming and going. The government needs to be seen to be tackling the migration crisis, and that involves moving asylum seekers to large accommodation sites like this and away from costly hotels in towns and cities. But locals sharing these photos of attempts to deliver porter cabins through the narrow lanes say their rural location isn't the answer. The nearest village, a mile from the base, has a population of 700. The government wants to move 1,700 asylum seekers to the area. I think if you put a thing end of 2,000 people up on that base with no money and nothing to do, whoever they were, even if they were trainee vicars, I think you could well have problems. I think it's only human nature. If people get bored, they start looking for something to do, and that's something to do with a proportion of people, whoever they are, may well involve some sort of mischief. The Home Office says it's been closely engaging with families on the base and they will all be moved to brand new homes. Lisa Holland, Sky News, Essex.